guy, five foot nine on the court, but use that rim yeah. to protect the shot. And Wildcats are one of the top teams in the nation, 46 in the nation in turnover margin. Up and under on the other side, the backdoor cut. Fine by Smith, finished by Innocente. Three-pointer. That one's no good. Musaw with the rebound. Quick shot there from the Wildcats. High screener, Jackson. Musaw. Jackson with a baseline jumper, back rim. And the no Texans good. are getting some nice lay-ins on the other side. Underneath, they'll go to Steele. He puts it up, no good. Good defense after getting out of position by Smith. Innocenti. Get a score here by the Texans. I would not be surprised. Coach Tanner may call a timeout just to give his guys a chance to regroup. Innocente with the jumper right in front of Simmons. Yeah, I really I like this about game. Sim his ability to play with his back to the basket. That's a lost start in today's basketball. So, Betty Hall there. Doing a nice job getting two. Smith from straight Down away. For the Wildcats. Barnes through the middle. Back up top to Smith. Who saw fade away from the baseline? Yeah. He's shown the ability throughout the season. Yeah. He can facilitate, but he, he's got a really good mid-range game as well. I'm telling you, ever since really I, I recently at, at the California Baptist game here that you and I did, yeah. I, I thought he was fantastic. He kept that game going by doing the mid-range jumper. And then his ability to play defense, he's a sneaky good defender and an excellent passer of basketball also. Just a smart player yeah. overall. Speaking of smart players, Leonardo Bedio again sneaks past Gaddy, the WAC Conference Defensive Player of the Year, and gets the bucket. Hey, that guy's crafty. Bedio down Gatti. underneath the basket. The screen. Outside, straightaway three, front rim, no good. And the long rebound goes to Musaw, who has to hustle for it. As Abilene Christian now one of seven from long range. Smith. Through the middle, a one-handed runner, no good. Cross-court JV seat. Step back. Mad with a hand in his face, that's no good. The put back defender, no good and again. The groove made no mistake. Corner, Izzy Miles with a three. He cleaned that's it up no good. doing what he does best. Now has six points as that one tipped. Smith again gets his hand on it. Good save. Oh, man. Oh, wow. To Corey Smith, that was some contact there. Williams going the other way. Tanner and the foul got Betty all back into the game. I, I think what he's got Betty all in the game and Cameron Steele kind of playing in the front court. It's have not shot effective. well this, this half. You got to continue to try to put it up and get it in. Up under Daddy Bucket. Foul. And Keandre Gaddy, the big daddy. We'll head to the free throw line for the Texans. A chance for a three-point play. Here you go. Wildcats, 2-3 zone. Moving around, chasing the basketball. Excellent pass. Boy, Musa, when he finds people and is really facilitating, he can make some really awesome passes. That one right there, another example. Didn't get the finish as ACU the other way. They will keep the ball off the hands of Lou Williams with some sloppy passing on the other end. I almost didn't see where Musa even saw saw that to where he could pass it. It was like he had eyes in the back of the side of his head. 57 to 36. We run into another media time out. Back after this on ESPN Plus. Championship game. Second round of the no heads up. Second round of the, yeah, the Texas CIT. shooting the ball overall overall very well. 48% on the floor. Lou Keep Williams pace coming here. up short. And yeah. the, the, the bad thing, too, Byron, when you play a zone defense, you're really not forced to issue. That's a good shot from the floor. Nice find in the corner. Miles with a three-pointer, no good. Tip, tip out will. Looked like Going that was the game. That Musa. He's a dynamic passer. I'm, I'm just going to yeah, say. He is. It, this dude will find you anywhere on the court. You know, it's like when I was watching the Mavericks game last night. They were talking about Luka. He had 16 assists last night against the Spurs. He just finds people on the floor. Musa has some similarities in the sense of finding folks. It, it's incredible the way he can pass. 